Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Ed Pandemic coming at you with my first video and review on the Skull Candy Push Ultras. The Skull Candy Push Ultra, they retail for about $99.99 at any store, even on the Skull Candy website. And so far I've found them to be pretty, pretty good. Uh, the sound quality is extravagant, like all Skull Candy products. The bass is excellent. The highs are a bit low. The mids, they're pretty good. But they're about what you expect from a $100 pair of Skull Candies. Um, if you've ever used a pair of Skull Candy earphones in your life, you already know what to expect. Something pounding at your head all day. No pun intended. Uh, but so far, I personally love the bass. I love it so much. Uh, could be a bit of a turn off if you're into something a bit more mellow or want something smoother for yourself. You're probably not going to be listening to any sort of classical music, but if you're into some St. John or Blacktop Mojo, I think they'll work pretty well for you. Uh, on to the next thing, the EQ. The EQ took me about five days to learn how to use. Uh, on the official instructions, it says to press the power button twice on the earbuds, which are your typical sports shape earbuds. It says to press the power button twice and hold it for two seconds and the EQ would change. Fast forward five days later, I figure out how to actually do it. You have to double press the button and then press it one more time, hold it for two seconds and then a voice will give you a prompt that you've changed EQ. The wording was terrible if you didn't already get that from this, but you have three different modes with them. You have music mode, theater mode, and you also have, what was it? Podcast mode, excuse me. Got my notes right here. Uh, music mode's about what you expect. Again, from Skull Candy, something bass heavy, clear sounds, nothing out of the ordinary. Podcast mode was a bit wispy, to say the least. Uh, the sound really fades out, but you can hear everything around you. So you have great ambient sound with that. You can go out walking anywhere, you'll be perfectly fine. There's nothing to really worry about with the podcast mode. And... Theater mode kind of gives you sort of a surround sound, if you will, about a 360 degree sound. Uh, it's not as bass heavy as music mode, of course, but it does give you sound coming from both ears. So like anyone who's experienced earphones, you hear something coming from the left side of a movie, that's exactly what you're going to hear it in your earbuds. Just make sure you have them both in. Uh, I kind of wish they gave us an option to change the EQ from the app, which the Skull Candy app is still kind of trash in my opinion, but that's beside the point. Um, you can't change it from the app. There's no other way to get into the earphones or see the settings without actively changing them yourself. Uh, in addition, the volume buttons are on the side of the earbud, so while they're in your ear, you're constantly pressing at your own head, or you have to take them out and trust that you know what the sound's going to be, what the sound's going to be like when you take them out. But in addition to the sound quality, uh, the fit is actually really good for these. Both of them fit my ears perfectly fine. I can sit them in my ears any way I like and just rock out all day. Uh, I capped out at about maybe four hours of continuous use, uh, but even still, that's great for these earphones, for any earphones, in my opinion, to be able to use them for four hours straight. Um, On to the actual use, the battery life, excuse me, from the actual use, the battery life. You get about six hours with these buds. Six hours is excellent. Uh, not up there with the Galaxy Buds Plus, excuse me. Um, not up there with the Apple AirPod Pros, I believe. But six hours is excellent. And on to the mammoth-sized case in the room. 
the charging case gives you an additional 34 hours of playback time. 34 hours. That's huge. As well as this case. This case is massive. Uh, it's tough to get it in and out of my pockets depending on what kind of jeans I have on. Uh, if I got on sweatpants, that's perfectly fine. No one cares. If you've got on some skinny jeans, you might want to reconsider what you're about to bring in with you for the day. Uh, but even still, this case is great. You can charge it via USB-C with this small flap on the back of it. You can wirelessly charge it as well, indicated by this little lightning bolt at the bottom. Uh, the only thing I wish this case did give you was a notification light. It gives you this sort of rinky-dink notification light up here. Let me move my hands out the way. You press the button and it will give you an indicator of how much battery it has. Three flashes is 100 to 71%. Two flashes is 72, I believe it was 40%. And anything less than two flashes, you might want to charge this. Even still, you're getting quite a bit of extra battery out of it. So I can't see any downside to this. Plus it also has this little strap on it. Uh, let's see. So video quality and playback sound are great. Uh, there's absolutely no lag, no lag latency or anything like that. The moment you connect them to your phone, you can start watching videos straight off the bat. Uh, I, have, I have experienced no distortion, no sound distortion or anything like that. Uh, quality is great. Watching videos with the different EQ settings can get a bit weird because music mode's typically really bass heavy. So when you're listening to someone talk, you hear quite a bit of bass in their voice uh, versus some of the other EQs, podcasts, or music mode. You'll get a bit of a clearer sound without their voice constantly sound like it's a jackhammer in your ears. But all in all, I can give the sound quality a solid 9, maybe even a 10 out of 10. Uh, they're not the best or clearest earbuds I've used. They're not like the Sony <clears throat> XM3s or even with the soft clarity of my Galaxy Buds. But overall, I do still like them very, very much. Um, however, with all the positives I've given it, the negatives are that... The Bluetooth connection on these is not the best. Um, from day one of use, I connected it to my phone and every now and then the sound would cut in and out. One bud would be playing music or <clears throat> a video while the other is just sitting there doing its own thing, uh, meaning nothing. And I had to either put them back in the charging case for a moment, maybe just let them sit there for and time out for a little bit and then take it back out. And it was still 50-50 that it worked, um, which is just odd. I, I've experienced this from maybe some really high quality earbuds and I don't understand when I can go buy some Zoomy branded earbuds for 30 bucks and they work perfectly fine. Uh, that's the one thing I could say about these skull candies that is a bit of a turnoff. And if you want to continuously listen to your music or watch your videos without any sort of And if you want to continuously listen to your music or watch your videos without any sort of interruption, then mm, might want to look elsewhere but even still a problem like that it's common with every sort of earbud so can't say pass on them far from it and on to the last thing uh turning the buds on and off simply take them out the charging case they're like all buds take them out the case they'll immediately go into pairing mode um once in pairing mode go to your bluetooth settings connect them right away no problems with that and honestly, there's not much, there's not enough good I could say about these earbuds. They're great. 
but I do have one more small problem with them is the call quality. Uh, I was on a call for two hours just to give them a really good shot. I use them every single day since I bought them nine days ago. And the call quality is just not it. It's really not it. Uh, the other person can hear you very well. There's no problem with that. However, you hearing them is really staticky. Uh, it, it's grainy, it's tinny, and it's just not a pleasant overall sound to listen to, especially if they're crinkling a bag of chips on their end and you hear a bunch of staticky, grainy, sort of grindy ugh, at your head. It's not, it's not good. I would just say go to your speakerphone, hold the phone up to your head. Chances are you're going to get 10, uh, 10 times better reception just from your phone. But all in all, the Skull Candy Push Ultras are a huge step up from the original Skull Candy Push. Uh, the original Push were great, but these have easily taken over the number one spot for the Skull Candy wireless earbuds. Uh, they've effectively replaced my Galaxy Buds due to the lack of bass with the Galaxy Buds. I know you have a better EQ with those than you do with these, trust me you do. But I personally am a bass kind of guy. I want to be able to feel the bass, you know, just emanating from the earbuds. I like to hear some really crisp sounds, not saying that the Galaxy Buds don't have that, but it's the bass factor that brings me, that keeps bringing me back to the Skull Candies. They haven't replaced my, any of my Sony Buds yet. Far from it. Sony's just too good, too ahead of the game for that, in my opinion. But I think Skull Candy really has a winner with these. The original push, if they came out for 80 bucks and these were released for 100, I think we all know where we gravitate to. These are the truth. And I highly recommend it. My final rating for these would be an 8 out of 10. And I think that anyone who's in the market or anyone who just has a spare $100 burning in their pocket should give them a shot. Uh, but all in all, that is my review. That is, those are my thoughts on the earbuds and I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, <clears throat> feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do anything you need. And hopefully I will see you again soon. All right, peace.